Hello, everybody. I'm your host, Eric Bird, here at StopStrugglingNow.com. And today, I'm going to talk about condo hotels. That's right. There's been an epidemic disguising places as condos that you can buy. Then you find out they're condo hotel units. I, for one, for the record, I never recommend condo hotels, but I will say with any investment, you always have to look and see what the numbers could say and do say. That is basically how you work investments. So I shouldn't say never say never, but what I'm going to do is say, here are the reasons why I suggest and don't suggest you should buy in condo hotel properties and welcome. Stop struggling now gear. Check and please like, subscribe and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. Now, let's get to it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And once again, I want to thank you so much for being here because you can be anywhere else. But make sure you share the videos. Why? It's because other people need to know about what is going on with their investment opportunities because the Federal Reserve is going to start reducing interest rates, which helps the real estate market generally. It helps the stock market generally. So you should be thinking about investing. And one of the investment vehicles are condos, townhomes, villas, and condos with the hotel concept where you can't live in the unit, but you can rent it out. Or shall I say, the management company hotel rents it out. Let's get into it, shall we? All right. First of all, we have to go to the Stop Struggling Now YouTube channel page because I always love to show a few of our members over here on the right-hand side, courtesy of YouTube. Thank you so much, everybody that's a member of the channel. I greatly appreciate your financial support. That's why there's a join button over here on the right-hand side. Under the community tab, whenever we have live streams, members with the icon receives a link. They can join me on any live stream that we have. They also receive special messages under the community tab. And they also are the only ones that can be in the chat room on our Wednesday night members only live stream chat room. Everybody can watch on Wednesday nights, but only members with the icon and members of the channel can be in the chat room on Wednesday nights. And they have special emojis. Let's get into another thing. Here's the thing I want to talk about tonight because this is starting to get to me. I'm going over here to the Condo Hotel Center. Rewards versus potential risk. I'm going to leave a link down below for you, the investors, who find out that they're buying a condo. Then you start asking questions. Hey, Who's going to manage this? Or what's the management situation? Because you're thinking you're going to rent it out, right? If you want short-term rental or long-term rental and you want to make some extra revenue, you going, hey, how, what can I do? And then if they respond with, we're going to have our own management, all of a sudden that puts me, the buyer, at risk. You do see that, right? You're going to be the one that's going to be at risk, ladies and gentlemen soon as somebody says we have management so your next question is automatically going to be what i'm hoping we have investors here i know we have investors here and you're going to say okay how much are you going to charge me for management so they may say we don't know right now if we're dealing with pre-construction or they may say yes we know who the management company is and they're going to charge 30 percent Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, let's do the numbers, shall we? So you're sitting there thinking you're going to buy yourself a $250,000 condo hotel unit. Now, keep in mind, the way it's a pet peeve of mine, 
you by paying in pre-construction numbers if you're doing pre-construction and it's 250 you're thinking or i'm thinking i'm like well i'm helping you build this thing then so what do i get back for it so you do understand it's not like they're building it first and then i come in and buy based on hey how much does this thing earn i'm buying before they build it which means i'm helping you build it do i get anything for that the answer is resoundingly hell no you are not getting any benefit you're still going to be charged 30. oh but heaven forbid they come back with a 35 percent number or a 40 percent number or a 45 percent number that they're going to take out of your rental that's the least of your worries but that's number one number two what is the hoa so not only are you going to take 20 30 40 percent whatever they decide now you're going to say the hoa is a certain percentage right think about it so now you're going to take 30 percent of my money a certain percentage of goes to the hoa let's just call it another five to ten percent of that so i'm out 40 to 50 percent before we can even do anything another word of caution what if they tell you you can't live there because a condo hotel generally has rules about living there and they aren't built for you to live there what do i mean by that you will have limited closet space you will have a limited amount of bathroom space everything will be limited based on short-term rentals not for you to hang out or anybody else hang out for months for that matter because it's the turnover rate and we need the highest possible rental income at the shortest possible time so that's another little problem that i see with condo hotels you want to know what else it doesn't stop there what if they tell you they have to be the management company you can't have your own management company that may only charge you 20 percent of course because now they won't get any of that money nor will they be able to control occupancy i'll get to that later so now here is the the problem with that it's simple i can't manage it myself for a lower rent management company rate now i have to deal with i'm paying for the unit as is including furniture so everybody has to have the same unit has to have the same furniture package because they're going to rent it at the same prices which also goes hand in hand with i own unit 200 but now when i arrive because i get to stay 30 to 60 days in most contracts it's 30 to 60 days that an owner can actually stay there on a continuous basis in their unit well in their unit is anybody's unit it's not in your unit as it turns out because it's a condo hotel what if somebody has the week or weeks rented for your unit when you want to stay there no problem says the management company we're going to put you instead of unit 200 you know unit 220 is the exact same unit furnished the exact same way so you're going to stay down there for your two weeks okay some people would say all right i call that a timeshare no problem but still nonetheless that is the situation you are actually a rental and you are the client as well that's what's so funny about it when you really really start thinking about it all right now let's get to some of the other worst things i'm going to keep going down the list forget condohotelcenter.com we're going to go down the list of what if they tell you the next thing it's a pool rental program that's right you need to ask is it a pool rental program what does that mean so let's just say for the sake of argument we have five units to keep it easy five units and let's just say between the unit type that you have let's just stick with a studio unit and the studio unit rents for on average two hundred dollars per night and then let's just say out of the five units two of the units are one bedrooms or shall i say i'll round it up to two bedrooms because that would make more sense the studio unit can sleep four because there's a sofa sleeper 
The two-bedroom unit can sleep up to six because they have sofa sleeper and they have two bedrooms. Three of the units are studio units. So now, out of the five units, somebody's going to rent the two-bedroom units. Some people are going to rent the studio units. Let's just say most people rented the two-bedroom units. And let's just say, I'll use numbers. Let's say one of the units, or two, the two-bedroom units, did about 30 nightly rentals out of two months. That's 50% occupancy. Let's now say two of the studio units rented 30 nights out of 60 nights. 50% occupancy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if it's a pool, that third unit that didn't get rented, they are going to share in the profits of everybody that has a studio. Which means it's coming out of your pocket, going into the unit that did not get rented, you're going to share whatever the revenue was across the board. Meanwhile, since the two two-bedroom units were fully booked for the 30 nights, they don't have a rental pool because there's no other two-bedroom. So now they get 100% of whatever the rental pool was, less the 30 to 40 to 50% management fee. And less, maybe, electrical use, depends on how that's going to be worked out, maybe less than if somebody used a credit card, so they're going to take 2 or 3% off. Maybe less than HOA fees that they might be taking out of the manage, out of your uh, rental pool money. All of that, and that's what you have left over. So those are some of the things that drives me crazy about condo hotels. Those are the cons. You want some more? Because this right here is a laundry list, is the way I see it. So if you think condo hotels are good for you, then let me ask you something. If somebody comes to you and says, I have a condo hotel, your first question is, great, I'm, and they're selling it for half a million dollars. Okay, your first question better be, let's see your tax returns. Because I want to see where you're making more than 6 7 8%. Because if you're only making 6 7 8%, then why am I going to waste the money when I can just put it in the stock market and get a dividend account? JEPI, J-E-P-I, J-E-P-Q, J-P Morgan. I can get ET, energy transfer. Both of those are going to be 8 9 10%. And my money is still liquid. I get dividends of 8 9 10%. So why am I going to worry about buying a condo building? That doesn't make much sense, does it? that I don't even have control over, which is another thing. You have zero control. So anytime they say HOA fees go up, you're paying. Anytime they say special assessment, you're paying. Anytime property taxes go up, you already have to pay in most instances. All right. So now, how do you like that so far, ladies and gentlemen? Let me know your comments down below. In fact, you know what? I'm going to make this. What do you think is good about a condo hotel? Because I'm going to tell you another thing. When you try to resell it, now you're reselling it as what? So you can't resell it as a condo. That's not a condo hotel because now you're going to have to disclose to people, this is an actual condo hotel. You can't live here. This is not for you to live in. This is strictly for you to buy and you get a rate of return on. If the rate of return is under 10%, then why would somebody give you three or $400,000 when they could easily stay liquid? Hell, you could damn near get a treasury bill or something for five or 10 years and get 5% a year. Why are you gonna risk it? That's ridiculous. And I can tap into getting my money back whenever I want when I invest in another vehicle. So why am I doing that? That doesn't make any sense. Just saying. So now you limit, when you resell it, you're limiting to who you're gonna be able to resell it to. 
because a person or family that says, hey, I want to live there, is not conducive for living there. Nor are you going to be able to live there under a condo hotel regime. So, are there really pros to this? Well, you know, there's Condo Center Hotel. Why don't we go see what they have to say about it, shall we? Rewards, quality properties. Okay, that's not a thing. Most condo hotels are exceptional properties. They have four or five-star amenities. Great. Uh, World-class spas, fitness center, gourmet restaurant, business centers. Okay, this is all true. Prime locations. You have to have prime locations in order for you to rent it out. That's the only reason it makes sense from a condo hotel point of view. Because again, you don't control it. So therefore, they're trying to get a certain number. You have to give up 30% or, well, that's about the going rate. You got to give up 30% in management fees plus other costs. But now you cannot go in there and say, hey man, uh, can, can you reduce the rent by 50 or $60 a night to get more rentals? So then by... Do getting more rentals, I can make more money. Okay, so those are the things you have to think about. Prime locations, it's understood. It has to be in a prime uh, location in order to have a condo hotel. Rent revenue offsets costs. That is the idea. But again, if all it turns out to be you're making single digits, six, seven, eight, five percent, why are you wasting your time? And heaven forbid if you come across something four percent, that makes zero sense from an investor standpoint. Hassle-free ownership. Now, I don't know what hassle-free ownership means because hassle-free, letting somebody else control your HOAs and control the management fee and they're in the business of making money off of you, I don't know if that's a good idea. All right? So hassle-free, it is not. You still need to stay on top of the, the management group, on top of your board, if you're allowed to have one, And so you have to make sure everything is running efficiently. You need to know the numbers because the whole complex is basically your business now because it's, you're tied together. You're not separate entities. All right. Now look at here. They start going over some risk. Let's go to see, look at this short list right here from condohotelcenter.com. Rent revenue offset costs. Okay, great. Hassle-free ownership, prime locations, and quality properties. And, okay, I can buy in a quality property location. I can buy into a prime location without being a condo hotel. I can get rent revenue without being a condo hotel. And hassle-free ownership, I'm going to have somebody manage my thing anyhow. So I can choose a management company of my choice. I can say, hey, this guy does 20% of the great clip. 15%, 20%, 25%, 15%, 20%, 25%, 30%. I can pick. Competition is good. Potential risk. Sales of most condo hotel projects on the market today begin in early pre-construction stages, often before ground has even been broken. All right, there you go. Don't go forward for any number of reasons from difficulty getting financing to partner programs in these isolated cases Your money is returned, but you may have lost out on interest or missed other opportunities while your money was tied up. So once again, this is very important. You need to know who's going to lend to you for condo hotels. Yeah, yeah. Some of you may not be thinking like this. You may be thinking, oh yeah, condo hotels, a good thing. You might want to talk to the banks in the jurisdiction where you live and find out what is the requirement. Are you treating this as a condo? even though it's not my primary residence, that it's a condo hotel, or are you treating this as a condo where I can actually get a loan against it? You need to know these questions. Possible risk number two. You could buy a project during pre-construction and see the value soar before it gets built. But if the market dips, as happens in any investment cycle from time to time, the flip side is that you may have to wait until the market comes back to get the big appreciation you were anticipating. That means on the resale. Number three, acts of nature and construction issues could could delay your project. So this looks like pre-construction. After committing to a purchase and putting up non-refundable monies, you could have a change of plans. If you don't close on your unit, you'll lose those deposits. 
All right. Once construction is complete, the property is operational. Your condo hotel could generate less revenue than you anticipated. Perhaps new competition has come into the market and had an effect on your condo hotel's occupancy rate or area tourism as a whole is down. See, this is another thing right here. If you have anything that affects the market with tourism, no matter if you're under a condo hotel or not, this is a risk. But because I'm only going to be able to sell and market to a select different type of people, some people want to stay in condo hotels. Some people don't. Some people want to buy a condo hotel. A lot of people don't. So now it's going to depend greatly on that. Short-term rental, it won't matter. Whether it's a condo hotel or whether it's a condo or a villa, it won't matter because it's short-term. But if somebody's trying to stay there long-term, meaning over a month or more, then it's going to matter what the closet space is. It's going to matter with any type of areas that I can have a storage spaces. That's going to matter. So just keep all that in mind the bottom line is that lower occupancy rates and lower room rates mean less rent revenue gener generated by your unit this is a real world problem that all developers know they may have to face so they do their research before they embark on a project that's what i told you you go to Airbnb, you go look at short-term rentals if that's what you're going to do or you're thinking the condo hotel is going to do and the way you buy is going to determine if you think a place can earn if you buy something for three hundred thousand and in two years will this place can they rent this for three hundred dollars per night that's the biggest question and even if they can will we be able to get 50 60 percent occupancy that's what you have to think about this isn't all inclusive all right this is why i always say amenities 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 no matter where you buy is the key to making sure that you will have tourism coming to your spot as soon as you decide that you're just going to have a condo in a hotel or a condo tell or condo in a pool and a fitness room now you've just let the competition win some of your buyers over or you're going to be renting at a reduced rate while the other people who bought for the same price but their project has 10 different amenities that guests don't have to leave the property for they get to charge more and have higher occupancy take your pick additional buyers additionally buyers are cautioned not to base their decision to purchase on rent revenue projections there you go ladies and gentlemen so when somebody says here's Here's a projection of the rental. This is why I rarely show it because we can't go by that. You have to go to do your own research. You can go to Airbnb right now and look a year out, see what people are renting. Sometimes two or three years out. Not saying that that's going to be the rent two or three years out, but that's the rent you can, if you booked it right now, that's what you would get. So there's no way if I see right now a place in that area for the same type of unit is getting $100 per night. And you want me to buy something for three hundred thousand dollars i'm thinking if we're doing pre-construction and if it was already built then there's no way it's worth three hundred thousand but if it's being built and they tell me something like this i'm like you really think we're going to go from 100 to 300 in three years i mean something seriously would have to happen and for that to occur and again I caution everybody because when you start going into 300, 400, 500 per night to stay somewhere, you then crossed into a whole nother realm. Now it's like you can stay in villas, you can stay in townhomes, you can stay in condos, you can stay in all inclusive locations if you're in a tourist area for that price per night. So now the whole market's open to you. So why are you going to pick a little unit versus a big unit versus all inclusive unit if the prices are the same? So these are the type of things that we have to talk about when somebody's getting all giddy about a condo hotel and you have noticed something. I have rarely talked about condo hotels. This is one of my pet peeves against a few things. And I'm going to mention them. Why not? Because Cruise on Land seems to me part condo hotel, part condo. But the problem is 
you have to be in their all-inclusive package for instance right furniture package to be in the condo they have a pool situation they tell me i can't believe it they have a lot of units so all the units that sit vacant let's get real 60 percent occupancy inherently says 40 percent of the units are not going to be occupied so now the profits earned from 60 percent are going to be shared with 40 percent or is occupancy going to be 85 to 90 percent which is unheard of in a condo it's not unheard of in the hotel units i mean the all-inclusives all-inclusives people stay there 90 95 to 100 percent occupancy but that doesn't translate to airbnbs because that's a different market that's all inclusive unless you're offering all inclusive then you're not the same so therefore now our oasis lake downtown i don't know if they signed the contract but they're talking about they're going to be pseudo condo hotel and the worst people on the planet that should be managing anything wyndham you guys know how i feel about wyndham i'm banned by wyndham by them jacking people all right i'm banned because we were jacking Wyndham from jacking people by letting people pay lower prices. But they didn't like that. They're like, hold on, anybody doing what you're doing? Well, my friends got banned first. But then they said, we'll buy all your stuff. And then you're banned because we don't want you doing Wyndham stuff anymore. So that's why I say I'm banned. So I sold all my stuff. They paid me to go away. They paid my friends to go away, millions of dollars. All right? That's how crazy it is. Just so they can actually turn around and charge the consumer and charge owners more money because they can raise the HOA. Diamond Resorts, which is no longer a thing, their CEO used to brag. Now, you remember timeshares are similar to condo hotels. Their CEO used to brag on their earnings calls. We raised the uh, HOAs five percent this year that increases our value x amount of dollars this is what's bringing their money to you the shareholder that simple little thing five percent increase bringing in millions across the board that's all they have to do every year some years eight percent increase some year ten percent increase all that going in the management's pocket. They control the board, they control management. I'm not talking about just Diamond, I'm talking about uh, Wyndham as well. All these guys do the same MO. It is not good for a homeowner. So that's what my lesson is. Pay attention out here, ladies and gentlemen. When you have these condo projects now coming out here, making you act like, making you think you're buying just a condo, that you get to control, then you're finding out later, oh, we're gonna have management. What do you mean? What do you mean? What, what, what does that mean? Does that mean I am, what, you're gonna, I can't use the management company I want? Because as soon as you say I can't use the management company I want and I have to use your management company, that means it's no longer my condo. You guys understand that, right? So there's a lot of new projects coming out and they're going with the guise of buy our condo. Then you're going to find out later they're trying to do a condo hotel. Oasis Lake, like I said, I don't know if they signed the contract officially with the Wyndham guys, but they may be allowing Wyndham to do their condo hotel. And anybody, everybody knows, look, I, I, I just have this thing. Super 8, Travel Lodge days in who stays there those are wyndham properties that's what they bought is that for the better i'm just saying how many upscale properties do these guys have yeah they made some deals with some other companies that i used to do business with and they had bought they bought their properties because they were hella nice and quickly they neglected and didn't do anything until it was five to ten years later before they would do renovations crazy stuff and by the way when you have a condo hotel you have to generally have a, um the furniture you your furniture is either included or you have to buy the furniture package in order to be in the rental pool and so therefore seven years 
five to seven years later, you're going to have to buy a whole new rental package. You don't get to go out there and say, hey, let me find the best deal. They'd send you a bill saying, hey, man, this is going to be 45 G's because of the wear and tear over the last five to seven years. So now it's time for you to re-up. And you're sitting there thinking, well, wait a minute, hold on. I don't control any of this. No, everybody's getting the same furniture. This is a condo hotel here. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I'm going to talk about right now. That's right. We got a lot of work to do. And with all that said, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. And I know it's hard out here, but there's a lot of people who's acting like they're developers, acting like they're big time, and all the while, they're actually looking out for themselves, not so much you. And with all that said, keep your head up, keep moving, and I'm out.